Hey, hello from Walla Walla. It warmed up to freezing rain out there, so driving's not a good thing to do. So I'm out here in the garage trying to stay out of traffic, and I hope you're all doing well. Well, anyway, I <laughs> I got this, uh, call it, um, left front mount call it closer installed and it looks pretty good i think and i got a round ball on the top like to match these other <laughs> balls but my uh high low neutral lever here uh worked loose and i had to crack the uh top cover off to push this back over without crowding uh, this uh, shifter lever here. But I thought I'd just show how big the gears are in a little axle sunrise. This is a small one. And the bull gear <laughs> is an inch and seven eighths wide. And uh, many of the others are inch and a quarter, one inch, and I think some of the narrowest gears in this machine are seven eighths. So everything's pretty heavy duty. And one thing I discovered about these machines, now this is a pre-war uh, machine, and uh, it's nothing like, uh, the ones they made during the war as far as location of important features. Uh, <laughs> it looks like the brake valve <clears throat> is uh, not on top here and it's submerged in the oil. It, it uses uh, two and a half gallons of uh, oil and I'm using AW68 and one of the things I was looking for here is uh, the uh, spindle bearing adjustment here on the front you can see I can rotate that around you can see that uh, lock washer And I'm looking at the tabs to see if any of them have been hammered or moved. And it looks like this uh, bearing has, in 80 years, it's a double Timken up front and a double Timken in the back. So, right there, It's been locked some 80 years ago, and it, it doesn't need to be adjusted. It, uh, ap it appears to run fine, and the rear one is a double, and it floats. And uh, it's, you can see the oiler here for it, and all that's coming off the... Uh, oil pump that's uh, down low on the machine here. But I thought you might like to see the legendary Axelson <laughs> gearing. It's heavy. So <laughs> I got this fixed, so I'm going to uh, button the cover back up. And uh, it's got some different adjustments here I'm going to have to research. Like, um, you can see back. And then let me get this in there. And I'm not sure if that's a brake adjustment there. It's got that spring, a long bolt, and a couple of things that pinch together with it. Just not real sure there about that. Anyway, I'll get this buttoned up and uh, 
uh, start making some stuff again here. <laughs> it should uh, run for quite some time without problem. I just don't foresee problems with this. The uh, One of the interesting things about these old machines like this, let's see if I can move that, uh, is uh, the low speeds here. This is a 24 speed, and it's got uh, high low here, and that's like uh, real low and real high. Then it's got a high low here that uh, gives it four ranges. In the lowest range, in both uh, everything in the low, you got 13 RPM, 17, 23, 31. And in this uh, range here, you can see the levers uh, point together. Um, it has enough power to break the machine and, or rip the headstock off, break these bolts. And uh, like if something got caught in a chuck between the jaw and the way, it could bust the headstock off. <laughs> or the. Uh, <clears throat> they've been known to get caught in chains and rip themselves off the floor and get and climb up chains. Kind of, kind of, uh, that would be a pretty exciting thing to see. <laughs> but anyway, the, these machines uh, that have all this gear and heavy gearing and stuff can bust the, um, uh, components off like the top slide and stuff like that so you, you really got to be careful not to crash a machine like this you got to be very careful well anyway i'm going to uh oh that that film forth only allowed me to uh do one video and then it won't let me do another i don't know i'm i'm gonna try to sneak another one in um Maybe in a couple of days or something, I can uh, try to do a, uh, a video with editing. So anyway, we'll limp along like this for a little while. And uh, I will be back. This is my um, 1940 slave updated to <laughs> 1970s. Okay, I'll be back here.